Hello there and welcome to another video. Uh, today um, we're gonna create a um, ripoff of uh, Gradius or Gradius. Is it Gradius or Gradius? I have no idea. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's uh, get started. Here's the uh, demo um, I created earlier. You shoot the uh, uh, this the alien spaceship and whenever the ship raises the shield you can't shoot him all right all right so let's um get started all right so let me show you where i got the graphics from i uh went into google images and i typed gradius um sprites i found the ship a few of the uh, the bosses um uh, and some backgrounds here is the background I use somewhere around here. Uh, I took that into Photoshop and um, I created created this uh, background from the original background. Okay, so let's open the example file. You can find this under the description below. Let's begin by uh, taking a look at the animation of the ship. You can see that this is only three frames. All right. Here is the alien ship, and uh, I animated this uh, using the uh, hotspot. You can see that the uh, hotspot moves in every frame. Here is the electricity animation I made. Uh, it's only three frames. All right, and here is the hit animation. This one I did in uh, Photoshop. And uh, all I did is um, I inverted the color. All right. Here's the background. This is a quick background, which you can't uh, tile if you drag it. All right. And finally, the laser, which is just a a. Um, static object. If you run the example file, you'll notice that nothing happens. You can't move anything. Let's um, make this visible at start. And let's make this object a uh, bouncing ball. I'm going to set the speed to 5 and the uh, initial direction uh, to right. You can see that uh, the red dot is moving. Let's go to the uh, event editor. And I'm going to create an always. On the scrolling. I'm going to center the uh, window position in relation to my um, red object. And you can see that now we are scrolling. Let's make the uh, spaceship a eight direction object. Set the speed to 30 and um, acceleration. Let me set this to 40. All right. Let's run this, and you can see that uh, we can move the spaceship now. Let's make this invisible. Invisible at start, and you can see that uh, you can no longer see the uh, red block. Okay. Let's prevent our spaceship from leaving the uh, play area. Um, I'm going to um, let me just show you the uh, collision box first. Here's this um, large object. Let's place it um, here. And uh, this is um, invisible at start, but if you make it visible, you can see it. Let's create a collision uh, with the uh, spaceship and the box. And if that collision happens, we are going to make our spaceship stop. Alright, you can see that uh, this works fine. 
let's make the spaceship uh, shoot lasers. We already have a graphic for a laser here. If the user presses um, spacebar, uh, we make our spaceship shoot a laser uh, in this direction. Straight out. Okay. Let's make the enemy uh, take damage. Um, let's create a collision between the alien spaceship and the laser. And if that happens, we are going to change this animation sequence to hit straight out. You can see that that works, except for um, the animation freezes. So we are going to uh, limit this uh, collision if um, animation hit isn't playing straight out and uh, sort of prevents it from freezing up to a point um, let's destroy the uh, laser when when this happens and that uh, also doesn't prevent it from uh, freezing up so what we need to do is um, is when the animation hit is is over we want to restore the animation sequence and you can see that that works fine all right all right so i'm going to uh, double click on the uh, spaceship and uh, you can see that we have a shield animation all right Let's uh, trigger this uh, animation every 3 seconds. Change animation sequence to uh, electric. And uh, you can see that this uh, works not too bad. Except for if I shoot it. Alright. Let's fix that. I'm going to insert a new condition inside line 4 and uh, we're gonna make this work only if animation uh, uh, this animation electric is in plane straight out you see that it works when the animation is not playing but uh, if I shoot it now it's not going to work we should be destroying the laser I'm going to copy that um, action and I'm going to um, simply change this back to animation electric is playing I'm going to blank the, the part where we change the animation and I'm just going to destroy the laser straight out and you can see that now I can't hurt the, um, the ship all right so let's uh, release the shields um, we can say that uh, if uh, animation electric is playing, we can add one to its uh, alterable value, A. And whenever this object reaches, um, say, 100 or greater, we can set the um, animation back to uh, stop and uh, we can change the um, alterable value a back to zero and um, we can also change this so this is not gonna work if animation um, electric is already playing Let's try it out waiting for the animation oh 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 animation is not gonna play uh, let's uh, negate this shoot it and now you can see the shields come back and they go away but uh, I think this should be a longer waiting time maybe 200 
shoot it. And you can see that this works fine. So before we close this video, let me show you one more thing. Um, it is in the Photoshop. And uh, here is the texture we use for the uh, 3D parallax tutorial. Uh, so I cut the uh, this background in the same shape. Okay. Let's um, go to uh, Click the Fusion again. And uh, I'm going to insert the uh, parallax object. Let's place it over here. And uh, let's go to the uh, event editor. Actually, we should probably change the texture first. Here's the, um, the new texture. I'm gonna go to the event editor and under always, I set the offset equals the uh, offset of the uh, parallax object plus one. And that should give you something like this. Okay, well, we can't see our uh, ship, so let's send this uh, to back. And now it works fine. Alright, thanks for watching.